We're going to talk I'm mean, talk about that. I'm hungry now. Are you guys hungry? Because I've got some exciting news. My next guest, she's making something so delicious. She grew up in the state of Jalisco, Mexico, and learned to cook from her mother. And now she's the owner of a family restaurant in Seattle called De La Santa. And Delica Villa Senor is here with us to cook up a Hi very there. traditional Mexican Hi. dish. Thank you for being here. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. So what are we making? We're making carne en su jugo. This uh, dish is very popular in Guadalajara, Jalisco for a long, long time, many years. Okay. So it has a record Guinness. Oh. Yes. Okay. So it starts with uh, bacon, which bacon. I approve yes. of. Every dish, I think, yes. can start with bacon, yes. and that would be okay. Yes. And I'm, we're cooking this ahead of time, so yep. now after the, the the bacon is cooked and um, oh, crispy, we have to add the the, the meat, carne. the carne asada, the okay. meat. It, it meat chops. Is, it has to be very thin. Yes. So, so we, we add, add all that in there. That, oh, oh, here. Okay, and the carne in insugo, the insugo. What is that? That means kind of like a soup. It's like a stew, soup or stew mm -hmm. because um, in Tsuhugo means the juices. So you have to cook this in a very slow. Okay. Because you have to have the, the use of the You want this da turned down, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. So low and slow. And slow. Okay. And then we put um, a little bit of pepper. Okay. After that, the salt. Use Just a little, a little bit of salt, salt yes. yes. Okay. That's the way we cook in Mexico. I love it. <laughs> and, and then, then and then as you're cooking that, and that's obviously how, how long would you say this takes to, it to cook take it down? Long, long, uh, as long as you have this cook and have the juice of the of the meat, mm -hmm. we add the the tomatillo mm -hmm. sauce. So we have already prepared this. We have but at the tomatillo sauce you have to blend it okay. with the cilantro and the two uh, chiles verdes okay. and the garlic okay. and uh, water. So you put water and okay. uh, so when you get the yeast, you add the meat. So, you want to so okay, yeah. so really quickly about the tomatillos. How do you yes. prepare them to get them the, ready for the, to the blending? Just you put it in water and you uh, cook it for, uh, when they change the color, because it's different green, but like five or 10 minutes. Okay, just leave it in water. Just leave it you in water. You don't even have to cook it in water? Uh, yeah, oh, you want to cook it. You okay. want to cook it in water. Got it. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So, so you you make the the beautiful sauce, which is yes. g gorgeous verde yes. sauce, and it tastes very good. It has a very good flavor. And then once this meat has cooked for a while and gotten the juices out, that's the key of doing it slowly, right? Because yes. you want that's the juices to slowly. That's the key. Because you slowly. want the juice. Yes. Okay. Yes. So as long as you're cooking that very slow, every I think every dish you have to cook it very slow so you can get all the flavors from yeah. from all the spices. Do you want to make sure that the meat is brown before you add yes, the sauce? Yes, it has to be brown. Yes. Okay. And, all right. Uh huh. Yes. Fantastic. See, that's good to know. You know, you and I were talking, and you had told me I am not a chef. She says I'm not a chef. I, I learned from my mom, and I think that does actually make you the best kind of chef. You learn these recipes from your mother. Yes, because I was I was um, just around the house in the kitchen, but I never liked to cook. I was just seeing my mom, and it it was very funny because she said, "You come and cook here and, t and learn, because when you get married, they're gonna return you." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they 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 haven't returned me. I, I'm no. still here now. I'm cooking. And We're now keeping I have, you. Yes, they're, they're All right. keeping me. <laughs> I love this. Um, I, they're going to return you. <laughs> um, okay, so I, as we're finishing up this yes. dish, I want to ask you about some of the other dishes you have. This is from Jalisco, this but is, you have mm -hmm. dishes from other um, areas around this Mexico. This is from Puebla, and this dish, it, it was for a govern, governor? A governor? Okay. Yes, I know, for president. So okay. it has the three colors of, of the flag of uh, Mexico. Okay. So green, uh, white, and red. And this is from Yucatan, Cochinita Bibel. This, they cook it like for six hours mm, or more. Yeah. So this is very traditional in Guadalajara. So it was a restaurant that used to do lines and lines uh, of people to get that soup. Oh. So it has a record Guinness because it's one of the most fastest <laughs> dish that they can serve. It's obviously because and, and it's got all the things you need. It's got beans, it's yes. got meat, it's got all the things you and need, you protein. Can, you can uh, use tortillas or to, uh, chips or tostadas, but I think tortillas is the best. So, so for a cold weather, oh, you, you love that. Did you or just hear my hangover. stomach growling? Oh, for hangover. <laughs> well, you know, that happens. And something like this is exactly what you need. Yes. Uh, really quickly, back to this dish here. Um, is, it, is it a chile? What is it? Chile and nogada. We have three meats, and we have a lot of uh, dry uh, okay. uh, how do you say fruit oh. and a lot of um, pomegranate semillas. How do you say semillas? 
Yeah. Uh -huh. And it, it takes, you have to uh, eat it uh, temperature, um, not fridge. Okay. It it, cold? It, it has to be cold, yes. It has to be cold, okay. It has to be cold, yeah. Um, for you. Um, so I have a quick question. I want to yes. know all about your restaurant. Tell me about it. So on the restaurant, we've been seven years on the restaurant. Seven years? Seven years, and we're family owned. Okay. So we were all together, my, my daughters, my sons, uh, in laws my nephews, my nieces, and mm -hmm. uh, we all together, and we, uh, we do a very good and beautiful team. Oh, so, I love yes. that. Yes. Dennis Santa, it's truly a family restaurant. And every, we have every dish from a uh, different state of mm -hmm. Mexico. So you're not gonna find like uh, nachos, yeah, we're gonna no. find just different dishes, and and, and we have uh, meats, yeah. steaks, uh, very high quality. Nice. So prime, why you uh, different kind of, but it's very so everything is it's traditional, very, high quality, yes. authentic, authentic meal. Okay, yes. um, I'm gonna have you finish this dish off uh -huh. actually right now. I'm, and, and do you mind if I give it a little taste over here? Oh, we yes, have one course. finished. Yeah, you try it. And my stomach yeah. is growling, and so then I you have can to add eat. some cilantro oh. or onion. Just put some cilantro, cilantro on, top. on top. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put cilantro on, on half of it because I know some of our staff doesn't like cilantro. I don't know who that is behind the camera. <laughs> All right, this looks so beautiful. Oh, I can see the bacon in there. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's very good. That is so flavorful. Yes. Mm. Oh, that is so flavorful. So here we put And so some. to get this to there, yes. you would put this uh -huh. Maybe for an hour you cook it. Yes. Okay. But a very slow cook. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll we'll let you uh, continue to cook that so we have some lunch today here. Yes. <laughs> hey, thank you so much so, for coming you, and sharing your family you, recipe with you. us, and she's sharing it with you all as well. What a treat! Uh -huh. um, so all you have to do is go to our website or just text the word recipe to 206-448-4545, and we'll send it right to your phone, easy peasy. Mm -hmm.